Okay. All right, welcome back to the TCI studios. We've got uh, Will over here. I'm not even going to give him a, okay, good. A, a rival name today. Steeler Will, that's yeah, it. So he's Just gonna Steeler Will. We'll go, no, I can't say that. I'm you know? saying it. I Steeler said Will. Will. That's what it is. Robert. Uh, who I am, I should say. We're going to get excited in this segment, and we are going to talk about Georgia, Clemson, in Charlotte. At least that's where it's currently planned. Now, you got goosebumps earlier. That's a little tease I, for I, some of you. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I mean, the rivalry's there, but this, and Will, you wrote about this, I think, a couple of weeks ago. This is probably the biggest Clemson-Georgia game ever as far as what's on the, the table. It's not probably, Robert. It is. To, to, to this point, the, the biggest game, from a, at least from a ranking standpoint, was in 2013. That was uh, Clemson was, uh, Georgia was number five, Clemson was number eight. Of course, Clemson won that game. Big win for, for Clemson, Taj Boyd, and then led them to the win. Come from, uh, come from behind win, I believe. No, it wasn't. Clemson actually had a 10 point lead. We don't want to talk about the next game. Yeah, we don't, well, 14, we're not talking about. <laughs> um, and then but prior to that, probably if you want to say a game that was of this magnitude, you know, that was pretty ma high magnitude, but 1982, Clemson, Georgia opened up on Labor Day night. Um, it was the first time ABC opened up a college football season on a Monday night. Um, defending national champion Clemson against the former defending the former national champions Georgia, who won it in 1980. Clemson won it in 81 in Athens. Um, it was a slugfest, typical Clemson Georgia game back in those days. 13 to seven, Georgia won it. Um, so since then, in my opinion, this game is bigger than that game. Why? Because Clemson's probably either going to be number one or number two in the preseason polls. That's 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 we know that to be probably true. One, two, or three. Right. And then after that, uh, Georgia's going to be sitting there around Georgia's four. Going to be in the top four. Yeah, top four. They're going to be four or five, maybe. Probably took the top four matchup. So yeah. So that is exactly why this game is different. The magnitude is just different mm -hmm. in this game, and um, it's 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 like something a lot of us have never experienced um, out there when Clemson and Georgia have played. Um, this used to be the norm back in the day in the 80s. Like every year was a big game when Clemson Georgia played. It's nice to have that little rivalry back. And so I'm kind of excited because a lot's going to be on the line and it's Georgia Clemson. That's why I'm excited. And Clemson gets to play it in their new home of all homes, Bank of America Stadium, <laughs> where they go every year in December to win the ACC championship. <laughs> exactly. Which is much different than playing it where Georgia goes to play for the SEC championship. Correct. And, and it's, um, you know, and that's you know, you got to imagine there's going to be half the stadium, if more, will be orange, mm -hmm. and that's going to be big for Clemson um, playing that game in Charlotte. Um, what's it called, the Duke Mayonnaise Kickoff Classic or something like that? Is what they're calling it. Um, a lot of Duke Mayonnaise fans out there. I know I'm one, so you know, let's let's. Yeah, I'm a Helmets person, but that's <laughs> Duke, so Duke Mayonnaise. So Everybody Sorry, likes. I still want a credential though. Yeah, for so, the Duke Mayonnaise. But it's going to be fun, man, because it's going to be on a neutral site. Um, it's Georgia Clemson. It's ACC versus SEC. It's top five game uh, between two rival opponents. And let's be honest, these two teams are separated by 72 miles. Now, how do I know that? Because I've driven to Georgia many, many times. <laughs> and it's 72 miles. And he always miles. stops at Sonny's Barbecue. I do, in commerce. Uh -huh. um, and so, I mean, it, to me, that's why I've always said Clemson, Georgia, back in the day, was a bigger rivalry than Clemson, South Carolina. A, because it was more competitive. B, because they're closer than Clemson, South Carolina is. And, and I'm doing it here because that's the way it looks on the map. So that's why it gets me. I, I love Clemson, Georgia. You know I am. I'm a well, geek about it. Well, and this is a game where... The loser is not guaranteed a shot at the playoff. A lot of people say, mm. oh, you know, that's definitely, it doesn't matter if you lose. You can, you can still make the playoff. But as we've talked about, if Clemson were to lose that game and win the ACC and the ACC is down again this year, mm -hmm. it's not a guarantee that Clemson gets in that playoff. No. If you got Oklahoma run the table, Ohio State run the table, you got an SEC team, then you're really battling to get that, that last spot. We ran a, a flashback video on the site the other day. Dabo, after the South Carolina win back in 2019. Correct. Yep. And he talked about exactly that. He talked, because for those of you guys that remember, Clemson would win games and they were falling in the polls. They won, they beat Florida State by 38 points and dropped two spots. Yes, and Georgia lost to South Carolina that year, right? So Dabo was like, well, we can't afford to lose to South Carolina. 
because if we do, we're going to fall. You know, we're, you know, we're done. We, you know, that was the conversation. Was you know, could you have afforded to lose this game to South Carolina today? Right. And Dabo was like, no, no. It was an important game because you know they they they. That's the year where they they almost lost to North Carolina, mm-hmm. and you would have thought they lost. And actually, if y'all remember. Several people in the media people kept saying said they after they lost to North Carolina, and, every, and Clemson's like, we didn't lose to North exactly. Carolina. They won the game. Yes. But that's the perception. It, we kind of go with, with perception's reality. The perception was Clemson lost that game. So everybody in the country, I mean, from media people, from everywhere in the country, I mean, I saw a lot of places where people say Clemson lost to North Carolina, so they couldn't afford to lose another game. I'm like, they didn't lose to North Carolina. Well, but, that just shows the power of the media narrative. Yes. And if Clemson loses that game, they're going to be people making that narrative all season long about how the ACC is down. But going off what happened last Clemson year. Clemson doesn't deserve a shot. Right. Even if they win out and win in Charlotte. So Clemson needs to win that game. Mm-hmm. Uh, I would almost say Georgia has a better chance of making it because if they run the table and they beat Alabama in the SEC championship, they're, st- they're going to the playoff. Uh, it's not the same on the Clemson side. Yeah, Georgia has to run the table, though. Yep. So that, that, but you're right. Georgia can lose to Clemson, run the table, and make the playoff. And it don't matter if Clemson were to beat them by 30 points. Yep. They could still make the playoff. And there's no doubt in my mind that they win the SEC. Clemson can't do that yep. because the ACC, let's not forget, was 0-6 last year in bowl games mm-hmm. and got hammered by the national media. So if Clemson were to lose this game, we know Alabama is going to beat the devil out of Miami. So the ACC is going to be 0-2 right off the bat. If that were to happen, they're just going to add on to what, how the season ended, right, at the end of yep. the year. And so I don't see how Clemson can recover from that. And Clemson will run the table. There's no doubt in my mind. They'll run the table after yep. the Georgia game. So that Georgia game that is, is Clemson's That's why we said it's out. the biggest game ever. It's just going to be in the rankings, but just – the importance is it's just huge um so you know the staffs <laughs> there's no sleep for those coaching staffs this summer they 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 know that how important that is and clemson knows coming off of back-to-back cfp performances where they did not play well mm-hmm. uh in the final game of the win. season they need to go win this one because mm-hmm. this is kind of a, a turning point if they win and they just stay up there at the very highest level if they, they shut lose, everybody up then people start wondering okay does this build on the last two cfp losses and uh, is Dabo's statement about the best is yet to come, that starts to put a lot of doubt in that statement. I, I, no, that's a great point, Robert, because if they lose, they will slide, um, and they won't be in the top five unless it's a really close game, I guess. But they would, they, if it's not, Georgia were to just say dominate it, then Clemson would fall out of the top five, and that hasn't happened since 2015. And, you know, and then, you know, then you start, you already start seeing people say, who's the next Clemson? So they're already mm-hmm. kind of like taking what that narrative, what you're saying. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, Clemson's yeah. lost the last few times. They've gotten blown out. So obviously Clemson's slipping now. So Clemson needs to reverse that and say, no, 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 we're not going anywhere. Exactly. And, and I think this is an important game for Dabo Sweeney on a lot of fronts. Primarily also, Robert, and here's one thing that we haven't talked about yet. Clemson and Georgia go head to head on a lot of guys. Well, and Clemson and, just lost two guys that they were in the final two with. Both of those guys announced that they're going to Georgia. So, mm-hmm. huge recruiting impact. It's totally big. This is a big, big game for Clemson on, in that regard. Uh, you know, because Clemson recruits a lot of the same guys Georgia does, especially in North Georgia um, and in Florida. And so, um, you know, and then this one, one of those guys, Georgia, came and got in Clemson's territory. Where Clemson normally gets North that guy Carolina. in North yep. Carolina, so Clemson's got a lot. They really got to pay attention to this game. This game is huge for Clemson in a lot of ways. You could say somewhat might be bigger for Clemson than it is Georgia. Oh, I in think some it ways. is. Like we just talked about, Georgia can run the table, and they're definitely in. Clemson's going to have to work through the national um, nonsense that gets out there. Mm-hmm. All right. The good news is uh, we're going to give you our way too early predictions on <laughs> who's going to win the game. All that said, I think Clemson wins the game. I think Clemson does too because you see him hesitate. Yeah, well, the, I, I got one caveat, and what's it's what we saw last year at the end of last season. We saw in both of Clemson's losses last year. They had trouble stopping the run in both those games. That's that was the that was the common theme of those two games, right? Georgia has a huge offensive line. They're known for running football. They got those great running backs. Clemson's got to make J.T. Daniels beat them. I don't think he can beat Clemson. He can't. 
I don't think so because I don't think I, he's I got the weapons. Your, I to don't do want it. your ifs and buts and chickens. And I'm nuts. saying. I'm saying. I want your prediction. Who's going to win? Cliff's going to win because they're going to stop. Okay, the there we go. Yes. I got it out of him. I, he could have talked for an hour with. I just know, get nervous I'm play with both sides of the fence. <laughs> I mean, it's okay to say. I think Clemson's going to win, which I do. It's also okay to admit, hey, I thought Clemson was going to beat Ohio State at the end of last season. So how did that turn out? No, not so too good. We'll have to see how this rolls. I also so, picked Clemson over Ohio State. So. Yeah, so take take that for what it's <laughs> worth. Uh, good news is with Clemson, if you pick them more times than not, you're going to be in good shape. So a right. uh, ton more headed your way on Clemson, Georgia, but we thought spring game in the rearview mirror, as Davo said, it's all about what's ahead of you. So we want to start talking more about Georgia. Stay tuned to Clemson Insider for the most complete coverage of Clemson football, Clemson recruiting, and Clemson athletics.